empty project we want a software instrument um, you can choose to change your keyboard here anytime I'm just gonna leave this as is at the moment click out get some space then I'm going to click command 8 and in command 8 our environment window opens and we want a new chord memorizer and the chord memorizer jumps up here and we want to connect the chord memorizer to our keyboard track we've chose then you want to double click on the chord memorizer and you want to highlight the first note of the chord you want and the preceding notes related to that chord then click OK and that has registered the chord in the chord memorizer you want to click for the next chord and repeat the process and then click for the next chord and repeat that process now I've just done basic three chords really however the other thing we need to consider is how the chords will look um, so when we hit our keyboard we will only have a single note however in order to get the actual full triad or longer chord if you're considering a fourth or a seventh you want to click into next and you want to go to sequence imp input and the sequence input comes from the chord memorizer into the sequence input then you want to hold down the sequence input icon and drag that and that throws up this window create new tracks for environment objects so we've created a new track for an environment object and there's our new track we oh, need one more new track in order to instance our chord memorizer and we'll just lift that up there so you want to hold down alt sorry you want to hold down control and you want to reassign the second track we've chosen to the chord memorizer and it's done so so what we want to do we want to maybe find our chords and if you highlight the actual chord memorizer channel you'll see all the other notes aside from the our single notes so you could press record and if we look in here we find that we've only got a single notes and um, I'm just going to quantize it make sure um, everything's to the bar and then in order for us to be able to see our notes what we then do is highlight sequencer input and press record and what that's doing for us it's actually recording the whole triad and if you double click you'll see um, obviously room for improvement however good quantiles should fix any issues now these two keyboards are actually different from the keyboard chosen here um, if you hit command 8 again it will give you the keyboard um, name 
and you can decide whether to use these keyboards or take your code information and lift it up. I think this is just an anomaly of logic. However, the task itself is a uh, complete. There's one more aspect um, I'd suggest in using a code memorizer. Um, I'd go for hiding, which is this icon here at the top, and you can hide these two channels and just know that underneath these parts are the actual chords. Um, however, when it comes to saving, just bear that process in mind. Okay, this is the end. This is just a short tutorial. Um, there'll be more to follow.